Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these 505 Southwestern Hatch Kitchen uh, Meals. This is chicken and cheese quesadillas. It's white meat chicken, Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheese in a freshly baked tortilla. It looks, it looks pretty good. There are eight tortillas in the box. Uh, they're frozen, microwavable, 32 ounces, 2 pounds, or 908 grams total for all eight of them. Mm, we bought these at Walmart. It was $7.68. I don't think I can show the calories unless I turn that up. There we go. It's 270 calories for one quesadilla. And here's your other information for you. So the directions are somewhere here there. So they're saying the best way to make them is in the skillet right there. And then you can do it in the oven if you'd like. Of course, we're not gonna do either one of those. Uh, we're gonna do microwave and these are frozen. If you thaw them, the directions are a little different. There they are. But if you, um, if you do them from frozen, um, you're going to cut open the end of the film wrapper and leave quesadilla in the wrapper on a microwave safe plate. Cook frozen quesadilla on high for approximately 45 to 55 seconds on each side. So I'll probably do 50 and 50. Um, if it's thawed, you're basically just going to drop your time down to 25 to 30 seconds. So that's the only difference. Uh, I think I said this, but Walmart for $7.68. I don't think that's too bad. It's basically, uh, it's less than a dollar per quesadilla. So think about it that way. Okay, so they are individually wrapped. They look like little soft tacos. Let me turn this back down. Um, they look like little soft tacos almost. So I'm gonna get, um, I'll just do one. I'll get it in the microwave. Basically, you just open up the package, put it on a plate and microwave it, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I haven't done anything with it. I'm just gonna, let me see if I can open it. Yeah, I can. with the seam out of here so it won't get soggy but this is what it looks like really not much to look at but it's very very soft very fluffy very hot so i'm gonna let this sit and just cool off for a minute so i can actually eat it uh, i might cut it in half just so it'll let some of that steam out so i can eat it a little quicker but uh, i'll be right back hey give it just a minute to cool off it's still pretty hot though um so i'm just gonna there's the inside it's full of cheese um that's all i really see in there there may be a little bit of chicken in there but it's mostly mostly just cheese. I like the flavors quite a bit. Um, I do have to say microwaving them from frozen, the edge over here is, is kind of hard and the other side is even harder. So the very edges of the tortilla um, are gonna be kind of hard and not, not crunchy and really, really hard, but they are kind of dried out. Um, just want to let you know that. I really do like the flavors. Um, they have some peppers. It doesn't say pepper, but, but it sure tastes like it has peppers in there. You can see the cheese just running out the side. Um, I like the flavors a lot. These would be, um, if I were to make them again, like if I make the next one, um, I would definitely do it in a skillet. So you get a little bit of the, first of all, you don't get the, the hard dried out kind of tortilla on the edge, it wouldn't do that. You're gonna get crisp, the, the tortilla itself is gonna get crisp in the pan. It's still gonna heat up the inside really good, but it's gonna crisp up and give it a little bit of a, almost like a toasted tortilla uh, on the outside. And so the flavor's just gonna be better and the textures will be a little bit better. Um, but I do like these. Um, I think for less than a dollar a piece, grab two of them, take them to work. If you eat two of them, I think you'll be plenty filled. One's, I mean, 200 and some calories, it is a little bit of calories, but I don't know that you'll be full with just one of these. It's not very filling, I don't think. Uh, but again, if you if you really want to do these right, do it home in a skillet, that's your best way of doing them. My second choice would be to do them from thawed. So I would probably throw these in the refrigerator the night before, take them to work, then microwave them from thawed, and that'll help get rid of some of this uh, hard edge as well. But I do love the flavor of them. I think they're really good. I like the flavors of the cheese and everything about them. The chicken, you don't get a ton of chicken, but the pieces you get are good and tender and very flavorful. So I'm going to give these a four out of five. Again, best way is definitely going to be the skillet, but I think if you did them from thaw, they'd work out pretty good too. Frozen's not bad. You do just get that hard edge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.